What are we going to do in here? No detections for the moment. Pilot planning room. All right. Good repair kit. It'll control room code and sh we have the neuromod. Trying to remind myself where I was going next real quick. Right, I was thinking of hacking three. Now I remember, all right. Getting close. A lot of stuff to pick up, but is there any lore da- Ooh. Any lore stuff going on in here? Kings and away sparkling wine. Crew meeting, 220. Pre-flight inspection procedure update. Fly log security clearances. Hazard training. Pilot medical checks. Read your emails. Shuttle advent. Captain Rebecca Smart. Flight engineer Joe Spires. Passengers Gustav Leitner, assist Leitner assistant. Carolyn Wheeler. All right. Captain Hale, Shuttle Exalt. I'm trying to hail the bridge. Getting zip. Can you confirm, please? I have some system malfunctions. It's, uh, it's across the board. It's hard to make sense. I, I need to park ASAP. I recommend security detail when I come in. Hearing some noise in the cabin. Shit, what is going on? Seems like there was some bad news going on there. Derelict shuttle. Ooh, there's something else. I don't know why I can't reach anyone, but I am dead in the water. Repeat, I have zero engines. I'm drifting. God damn it, Steve, answer your transcribe. All right. Shit. Investigating cabin. I have a sidearm. If all clear, I will attempt to EVA to an airlock. Hello, open chamber. It's one way to get around. Poke around a little bit. <coughs> Sorry. Oop. Ah. I scan this room. Dick. Well, that's frustrating. I have a lot of food though, so we can make do. But it's definitely frustrating. <laughs> Die, mug. I don't trust you. I've been hurt before. <laughs> nope. Son of a bitch. There's one. It's too bad that you can't just constantly detect mimics. Just because there's, there's I feel like there's not a, I feel like there's not a ton of reason to not just leave this on at all times. Like I feel like if I was playing this game completely for myself, I might even leave this on at all times, which is unfortunate because it leads to the, it leads to the Batman Arkham Asylum problem where a lot of people played the entire game looking at blue skeletons and a dark blue game because. Seeing the entire game in, in in detective vision mode was just generally safer and a good idea, and led to you playing the game better in many ways. Uh, Mr. Yu, this is Eddie Voss. I work down in cargo. The fact is, we've been stealing from you, sir. It started small, just uh, moving harmless contraband on and off the station. Pharma's food not on the safe list. I don't know, maybe you don't pay your tax and hardware enough, but, uh... Lily got ambitious after a while. 
Started stealing neuromods, fabrication plans, selling them to Transtar rivals. Yeah. Sit on that for a sec, Mr. Yu. Kazma's got our IP now. Lily made me modify some of the old alarm panels around Talos so uh, <coughs> we could uh, use them as dead drops. I'm certain a few of them still have company property. Three taps of the wrench will pop it open. Anyway, I, I just wanted to say, uh, <clears throat> I never meant for things to get out of hand. It just uh, took on a life of its own. But uh, I'd like to make it right any way I can. That's all. All right. Another thing going on. It sounds like there's a secret cache that we can find that will benefit from. But yeah, for those that don't know, Batman Arkham Asylum was a game where you could press a button and it would make it so that everything was kind of one color. But all objectives stood out, all important objects stood out, collectibles stood out, and enemies were like glowing skeletons that were very easy to detect against the uh, environment. So it led to an issue where it kind of incentivizes just leaving it on 100% of your entire playthrough because there was no real cost assigned to doing it, aside from the part where it was like, oh, it's a bummer how I'm not seeing any of the art of this game. Uh, I feel like this game gets dangerously close to that idea with this scope thing where it's like, it wants you to look for mimics. And like uh, the smart, it's the smart thing to look for mimics with that thing. Warning. But at the same time, you want to see the, what the game looks like, don't you? By an engineer or an operator. Like, you ideally want to see the game's art and not stare at this the whole time. But I kind of get in a trap where I kind of want to explore every every room with that vision on because I don't want to get murdered. <laughs> it's a bit of a weird system. Just taking out that... All right. Oh, right. The turret wasn't fully. It was broken, so it didn't. It didn't matter at that point. I see health bar, and I just think things still alive, which I think is a relatively natural response. But yeah, broken is broken. So that's open now. Look at that. So that's what I fell through, huh? So it's a fr it's a fake. It's like a, a fake cityscape. It makes it feel like you're inside of a. A singular building in the middle of a city that has a skyline and stuff like that. Like you're in Central Park or something like that. Try to stave off the feel of where we actually are. Warning. Yeah. Air supply system malfunction. Please evacuate until repairs can be made by an engineer or an operator. So like what what comes to mind is that uh what was it Doom 3? I never played it, but it's supposed to have this mechanic where you had a flashlight or you could hold up a weapon and you had to choose between one or the other. So there's a cost benefit analysis thing going on where you use the flashlight to see and then the gun to shoot and you have to switch back and forth and that's like your careful decision making. So like it feels like Detective Vision of Arkham Asylum and the scope of this game should have some kind of like, cost-benefit that you weigh against each other. Because otherwise it just becomes a thing where you just would want to have it on all the time. But I don't want to do that to the game's art, and I don't want to do that to you guys, because... So I... So every time I'm... I feel like I'm opening myself up to the idea of getting hit by uh, mimics that shouldn't have got the drop on me, but only because I specifically wanted to not constantly subject you guys to that to that, uh, view thing. So it's a weird... balance. Warning. Just, just, uh... Levels critical. Please seek a breathing apparatus maybe stop, just in the comments, maybe stop accusing me of forgetting that the, th that the scope detects mimics, because I'm trying not to play the entire playthrough looking through the game like that. But, it does, it is a, is a weird balance to strike. And I, I... do slightly question the design concept, and what the point was. I can't help but wonder, like, if I can detect mimics, then why can't I just always detect mimics if it doesn't cost me anything to put to that view? Unless they wanted it to be on all the time, but then why would they want the player to view the game that way? It's a- it's a weird- it's a weird setup to me. Hello? Is someone- I'm in the escape pod with Emanuela de Silva. We're stuck in the launch tube. The hatch on the outside is supposed to blow when the pod launch initiates, but- I guess the bolts misfired. Could you help us out? You'd have to EVA to get the hatch off from the outside. 
I know it's a lot to ask. I, I don't know what else to do. Sit here and starve, I guess. There's an override switch behind the panel to force a pod launch. But don't hit that until the outside hatch is off. We'd be blown to bits. Please seek a breathing apparatus immediately. We've got logs, but I'm gonna try to keep... Watch out for the baddies real quick if I can. Where are you guys hiding? Well, that'll be the end of my ranting about the, uh, scope. Just trying to express the general... I don't know, mild confusion about how they handled this mechanically. But it's not really a big deal, so I don't want to spend too much time talking about it, and I kind of already have. But it's... it's weird. It's a reoccurring thing in video games. The equivalent of detective vision. Alright, now I should be able to listen around. No? There's still baddies coming my way? Oh, they're inside of that thing. Mayor, did you hear that? Yeah, I heard it. Send an operator! That's what I'm doing, Niels! It's not responding! None of them are! Shit! Was it those... things? Did they shut the air off? I don't know. It doesn't matter though, right? I mean... It should be hours before we run out. <sighs> no, Niels. The system is working in reverse. It's pulling oxygen out of the air. We've got... ten minutes. Tops. What? But... Levels critical. Please seek a breathing apparatus immediately. That's messed up. So the air was siphoned out of the room and everyone just got to die, basically. Frank, you in there, man? What's wrong with these pods? I... I don't know. What do you mean, you don't know? It's your job to know, damn it! You inspected them, right? Yes. Then why the hell is the launch sequence doing jack shit? I don't know, Drew. I'm sorry. What about your pod? Open up! I... I can't do that. What are you talking about? Bolts in the outside hatch misfired. We're stuck in the launch tube. Ugh! You didn't wait for anyone else, you son of a bitch! I hope you starve to death in there! I think that- is that the last one I had? I thought I had more than that, but L's not pl L's not playing anymore. Is this the one that the mimics are inside? Yep. Can I get inside this one? Seems like I have to be a tiny person to get inside that one. Oxygen levels critical. Please seek a breathing oh. apparatus immediately. Oh, that was an accident. I am way down here now. Hello. There we go. He said he was inside one of these, right? I'm just trying to find him visibly. A little hard to see. Is that the one? Because he said he was stuck in the tube? We might be in there. Let's check my data. Is that all of them, I suppose? I think that is them. I thought I had more. They don't seem to they don't seem to indicate that they're new. It might be all of them. I thought I picked up more than that. Okay. Let's uh, investigate what this thing tells me. The pod two malfunction. That pod two? They have visible numbers. Now I wonder what happens when you press a button on these things. So you can launch the pods. Or I can press the button. Does the button launch the pod too? Warning, air supply system malfunction. Please evacuate until repairs can be made by an engineer or an operator. Launch controls. Ensure pod doors are sealed and all personnel are on board. Take a seat and make sure safety harnesses are secured. Initialize onboard assistance for launch. Remain seated while guidance is blah blah blah. Wait until the vessel has come to a complete stop. What if I press the button in here? <laughs> let's, sa let's save and give it a shot. <laughs> What could go wrong, right? This escape pod is currently experiencing a malfunction. Engineering has been notified. Please use another. 
Okay, so the malfunction's very real. Is the button the door? Yes, it is. So can I open this one? No, this one's malfunctioned, so you need to have some kind of trick to get that stuff from inside there. Can't tell what it is, because I can't quite... Looks like parts and a hypo? Not a big deal. Thought I'd take him out, especially with only one shot. Hey, they gave me two shotgun shells as a, as a reward too. Please evacuate until repairs that works. can be made by an engineer or an operator. So I assume that's pod two that's malfunctioning, right? Because they're all malfunctioning ultimately. They said I'd have to do an EVA in order to get them, which means I need to go outside. And rescue them from outside. And he's stuck. Is it visible out there? Isn't that where the stuck one's supposed to be? Let's, uh, check. Objectives is O. It is the main story detour thing. Blow the shuttle bay escape pod hatch from the station exterior. For that, I need to get outside. There's Alex's escape pod. There's a few things going on. Alright. I'll see about getting into space. I don't think I can do that from here, can I? No, unless I could get one of the escape pods to work and kick me out. So we're gonna find a, a different spot for that. This is an eventful room. So many people died just in this room alone. Probably checked a lot of people off the list of, uh, of bodies to find over the course of the campaign just now. Warning. Oxygen levels critical. Please seek a breathing apparatus immediately. This should be the one room that I had the code to before. Was there a different exit out of this room? Because I jumped through the ceiling. I don't think there was anything else to do here at the time. So I was going to play something out of you or something. And I think it really was just a secret way to get into the other room. Which worked out. It gave me access to this place. I'm going to just go ahead and uh, put you down here. Bye bye. I just got tired of having a red arrow on eye level. Constantly thinking it was going to be a threat. Some strange plants around here. So is this the Talos lobby? Yep, so there's my lobby access if I want to do any backtracking. Definitely an option. And this is what we broke into. Taking me back to the hallway. Okay. Reorient it a little bit. Repairs can be made by an engineer or an operator. So as per usual, I would like to have access to security. David Simmons. Keeping an eye out. I've probably gotten faster by now at exploring rooms just from routine. Especially since there's less constant risk of finding the, uh, of being surprised by mimics. Because I've, I've become more hardy at dealing, or more resilient to dealing with them while simultaneously, uh, more and more used to the, the loop at this point of clearing a room and then recognizing what stuff I can grab and move on. Survivor's account of the evacuation day two. Um. Yeah, that was the that was the same. We, we've already read the story early on. Actually, I was hoping we'd get day three. 
That was the guy who was like, who became a surprise driver in an emergency situation after having basically been knocked out by the surprise calamity. There we go. Trying to get a little better at that. A little more touch and go. Let's go ahead and download the area map. It's uh, Niles Kiergaard. Help! Anyone still there? We're trapped by the escape pods. So they seem to be asking for moral choices, basically. Hey, Frank Jones. There's a, there are... They're asking for a certain level of moral choice here. I should probably yeah, try to find Frank Jones because they're apparently alive. And he's in the shuttle bay. That's not the same guy that was inside the... Is it the same guy that was stuck, though? We're trapped by the escape pods. No, yeah, yeah, it's Frank and Emanuela. Right. So that's not... That's, uh... Dang it. A lot of names to keep track of. That's not the same person that escaped, right? Nope, your job to know. Frank Jones. Yeah, so that is... Never mind. So they are... They are they're asking for, like, a certain moral choice here. Of judgment on characters. Where la last time it was, a uh, Someone who was probably... A horrible monster. Or, like, a murderer... Uh... Like... I think he, uh, the, the guy in the, the chamber, what, wasn't he like selling people into sexual slavery or some like really, really terrible stuff? Was what was confirmed, basically. Whereas this guy, uh, is a coward. He abandoned people to die in an attempt to save himself and then got caught and everyone else is dead. And so it might be, Pat, it might be asking your judgment as whether or not you think that he's worth taking time out of your schedule to save. But uh, it's definitely a different situation than the last one. So like they're they're try they're trying out different gray areas and different versions of people being responsible for deaths and see asking you to respond to each of them differently. Or I'm asking to see. They're they're checking to see if you'll respond to each one of them differently. That's an exterior door, right? I think that's how I can get to the where I'm trying to go. Poking around for any pickups I can find. Not sure why I would take care of that fire, except for just habit, I suppose. Like, not wanting to have fire sources nearby. Wait, doesn't this place have no oxygen? I'm surprised that a fire... Well, I don't know. I don't know. Can you maintain a continuous flame from a source? I guess the idea... Yeah, never mind. I was thinking. I was thinking in terms of uh, fires being fueled by uh, needing oxygen to burn on some level. But like in this case, we're talking about an ongoing fire source that's maintained because of the fact that it's literally a gas spraying out of a uh, that that's spraying out of the side of the 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 uh, pipe, and that's what's fueling the fire itself. Can't trust these rooms, so it's got to check for the mimics. Yeah, it's weird. I'm constantly getting background noises while simultaneously being told that um, everything's supposed to be. Yeah. Right to press Z. <laughs> I'm uh, basically being told that there's no that that sound doesn't carry here because my own actions don't create sounds. And yet, at the same time, there's constant background noises, as if I can hear. It's a really weird, like, sort of contradiction going on with the sound design. All the way down to the fact that there's an intercom that seems to be playing around... Like, the intercom gets muffled when you go to different rooms, which means that it's playing out of speakers in the room and not playing directly into your headset. And yet, my gunshots and stuff are silent? And when I break glass, it's silent? There's, there's some weird... Some strange sound design going on in this environment. I think that's a lot of the stuff cleared out. 
We'll get to, we'll get to the uh, Talos lobby sooner or later. Let's uh see if I can get to that exterior and help out. Because while I wouldn't trust this person with my life, as far as my own self-preservation goes, I don't really want I don't really feel inclined to leave him trapped. And there's supposed to be a second person in there with them. Oh right, Frank Jones and Emanuela. Isn't Frank the person who kept hitting on Emanuela, who was like not interested in that one e that one email? I remember that. Oh, I forgot to unlock it. Whoops. That was stupid of me. I walked by with it without unlocking it originally. I should have at least unlocked it. That is loud. That is very, very loud. You ready? There we go. It's everyone's favorite microgravity. It's back. In case you thought you'd escaped. Hatch. Search the black box lab. Start extractor or liberate volunteer. Oh, it's pointing me at the quest about the 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 prisoner guy I was talking about. Yeah, once you're in space, these the objectives become detailed because they're because each one's its own waypoint on different parts of the ship. Whereas when you're in assist when you're inside the ship, you're inside the station, they're all at the same door, so it's just multiple objectives. You said I need to blast it? Yep. Okay. Follow-up objective? Activate the manual escape pod lunch in the shuttle bay. So now I need to loop back, back around again. I, I, I suppose I want to backtrack regardless, because I also want to go back to the, uh... Oh god, I'm a little turned around. There it is. Uh, I want to backtrack regardless, because there's the, there's the where is... Oh, let's maybe sprint and I can get away before he notices me, perhaps? I don't want to fight that guy. Oh god. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. There we go. We're gone. <laughs> So I want to search the black box lab since we've we've got access to that now because I found the body, and I also want to follow up on the uh, who is who is December thing. It's probably a core struggle is the the uh, conflicting opinions of January and uh, and December. It's really baffling that January and December both exist if if they are both mine. Because why would I let two copies? of AI exist at the same time if they're both going to be arguing about like what I should do like that's that gives me nothing to go on as, as far as which ones are right let's let's uh recycle things today because I have a lot of spare parts so I'll go this way with this this time there we go that's a whole bunch wow 8.9 8.29 mineral material that's a fair bit. Gotta remember how I got to this shuttle before. I think it was actually through this door. Yeah. Warning, air supply system malfunction. Please evacuate until repairs can be made by an engineer or... I just want to encounter, at this point, I just want to encounter a goddamn surviving human being that I can work with, because that's not really a thing that's been happening so far. Hopefully this works out. Short, secure door first. Should I be inside just to experience it? <laughs> <laughs> this might be a bad idea. This escape pod is currently nope. experiencing a malfunction. Engineering has been notified. Please use another. 
Frank Jones. Right, that's the locate crew member objective. So I can launch it from here, right? Pod 2. Escape pod launch in 10. Warning, air supply system malfunction. Please evacuate until repairs can be made by an engineer or an operator. Five. to me that you did all that, despite Frank. I'm transmitting the location of something that could help. I couldn't get it off the station, but maybe it can help you. So she left me something in the shuttle bay. The ro yep, there's the reward. So we let two people leave. I'm betting January is going to be mad about that. Because we've apparently decided to commit suicide, although I'm still not... I don't know if we'll be siding with January or December, ultimately, like when they both get a chance to plead their cases. Warning, air supply system malfunction. Or even the idea of whether or not the, uh... Whether or not they can even survive outside in the first place. That's the wrong spot, isn't it? That's multiple object- Ah, it got turned around. Where was it? There it is. I guess that's on this floor? Kind of? Have I been in here yet? Yeah, I remember here. above the tiles in the bathroom. Well, that didn't really work out. Alright, uh... Maybe I can just swing at it. No? How hard are these tiles that are apparently crumbling? God damn it. First person platforming. Oh, Jesus. Is, is glue gun even that helpful in this situation? Oh, jeez. Warning. Air supply system malfunction. Please evacuate until repairs can be made by an engineer Come on, man. Operator. Come on. Ah. I know that they have a history of first-person platforming, but I gotta say, it works a bit better than in Dishonored, where you're usually outdoors or in giant, ridiculously extravagant mansions. There's moments like this where I'm like, ah, this is... unfortunate. <laughs> How do I get up there? Do I just need to shoot it? No. That's just a waste of bullets. Gotta be like a reasonable opening I can use, right? Yeah, you can't shoot blobs on top of other blobs to make them stack or something. There we go. Please deliver ASAP to P.O. Box 1127 in Fresno, California. This is a medical emergency. Your payment has already been transferred, and we are both at risk taking this off station, so please be discreet. I'm trusting you will do the right thing. Whoops. Mom, I sent you some special meds to help. Please follow the instructions carefully. I know you hate needles, but believe me, the neuromods can do miraculous things. I'll contact you soon. But remember not to mention any of this when communicating with me while I'm in Talos. Love you, Emanuela. So we're, if we're supposed to have a, uh... Warning. Oxygen if we're supposed to have, what do I call it, um, uh, containment... Immediately. Not the right word, not, not the word I'm thinking of, but I'm, I can't think of the right word. Quarantine, there we go. If we're supposed to have quarantine, she was definitely breaking it by sending neuromods to her mom, but, though they apparently didn't make it. 
They're still here. Hey! I can go for security rank 3 now. Hacking 3, not security 3. Very different meanings from game to game. All right. Only time will tell whether I've made a terrible, terrible mistake by releasing them. We'll see.